I hear you bumping your gums. I hear you, little birdie, just chirping away. Chirp, chirping away. It's all good. But I was trying to take a nap. But you want to rattle the cage and wake the lion up. I guess you don't understand that my bite is a lot more lethal than my bark. But you want to jump off the cliff without a parachute. Well, let me save you at the bottom. Because that's where you at. So, I just want to make this clear. I want to make it perfectly clear that that very night, y'all approached me about the info, saying that article that you presented, we have that same article, we have that same article, and we're going to show that it was wrong, and we're going to show that he was taught by somebody else, blase, 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 blah, so I humbly respected your ignorance that you were spewing a mile a minute, and I said, you know what, let me go, let me go to sleep. And I realized at that moment that when it comes to you, Garfield, A. Reed, when you do your research, is deeply, deeply soaked in confirmatory bias. That's how you operate. The public doesn't know that. And you, I believe, don't know that. This is why you continue on talking your spit. But it's all good, and I get it. Like I said, I was taking a damn nap. But the lions and the wolves around me, and the piranhas in that water, they was nipping and biting and telling me, Hush up, hush up. Go ahead, man. Say something. Eat this cat. Say something. And I just kept getting bit by all the wolves and lions around me over and over and over. Till finally I woke up and I said, okay, it's time to eat. And I'm real hungry. So I guess I had to add more to my plate. And who's that? You, Jabari Osaze. And I'm approved, my man. You called yourself a historian, I respect. You call yourself a scholar, I respect. All the things a priest, I respect. But as far as a historian, I'm sorry, bruh. I deem you a twist historian because you twist a lot of things. And when you went to Google on that little piece and pulled up that picture of that white man, at that moment, I had to second guess your classified historian card. I had to second guess also when you said that you grew up as a Catholic and you was well studied in it. I said, I don't think so. You would have known straight out the gate. That picture that you pulled up on Google was totally wrong. It was nothing but a whitewashing, like all history that the so-called white man presents to our people. Now I see why Zion Lex handled you so well and put you in your own tomb where you could be venerated by all those with the same confirmatory bias as a Garfield A. Reed. Dinner time. Work. Who? Garfield A. Reed and Jabari Osase. You brothers are about to be eaten. You're nothing but food. And please, let's give out our condolences to these brothers right now because they about to be hit by Hurricane Harshaw and the sub-zero winds of Priest Daniel. Let's get it. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another edition of Maccabees TV. It's your brother, Priest Daniel Allah, Maccabees Alliance Council, Lions of Israel, with a quick friendly reminder that this upcoming Sunday we are having our event, Ether on the Horizon Part 2. Again, that's Ether on the Horizon Part 2, being held at 823 Eagle Avenue in the Bronx. If you cannot make it, you can catch the event at eventbrite.com. E-V-E-N-T-B-R-I-T-E dot com and search for Israelite Avengers and the number two. Again, that's Israelite Avengers with the S and the number two.